Hello everybody, welcome back to Emotional Gravy Studios. Today we're going to be doing something special, which is playing a very, very fun game, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Uh, now, I killed a cantina guy, they're attacking us. Oh no. Yeah, so this is a modded version where, and it's the latest mod that came out where it makes it look like it's... Like, it updates all the character figures and stuff to yeah. what they look like in the Skywalker Saga, mm -hmm. which I think is really neat. Um, but the rest, of the, oh, the rest of the game looks the same. So we're just going to start with Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and we're just going to play through this game. Yes, so. sir. I'm excited. I haven't played Lego Star Wars in a long, long time. Yeah. It's, it's so much fun. Episode 1. The Phantom Menace. Awesome. Do you actually, like, read through these when you were as a when kid? When I was little, I would, but then I would get halfway through, and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the movie. We're good. Yeah. I love this. I love these cutscenes. Yeah. These things. Also, when I was little, that was my favorite spaceship. The red one? It, yeah. I thought it looked really freaking cool. It does. This is dancing on the table. Dancing on the table. <laughs> wow. It's like the model walk in Zoolander. Yeah. <laughs> ben Stiller is Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> Owen Wilson is Qui-Gon Jinn. Now if we use a force on all those, like, on these things, Ooh. we get a mini kit. Oh yeah, I remember that. We're gonna Lego like, speed run this. Hey. <laughs> and that's how I'm gonna pay off my student loans. Quick, <laughs> get them all. Did you have a favorite character you liked to play on whenever you were little? I just thought General Grievous was super cool. Yeah. I mean, I like playing as Anakin, mm -hmm. I think. Um, I will say, like, the character animations and stuff are really good in this game. Especially for Anakin. Anakin's animations are super cool. I also like playing as Han Solo, because he would, like, dodge bullets and stuff. Yeah! And I always thought it was funny that for, like, you know, this old Lego game... They would. They just had like a revolver as his gun. I thought mm -hmm. that was so funny when I was little. I can't remember what this does. Oh, this is goes to like a puzzle to make the thing up here move around, and it will take you to a mini kit. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw it. Okay, now hop on that thing. I'm flying. There we go. Mm. Already got four out of nice. ten. Man. Yeah. When I was little, I just liked him to jump up and slam. <laughs> yeah. That's the easiest way to, like, mm. actually get damage done. I love the protocol droids hopping around like this. Oh, yeah. Every time they get hit, they lose, like, a leg or something. Yeah. When I was little, I always thought this cutscene was really freaking funny. <laughs> I think it's weird they made Obi-Wan like such a goofball in a Lego game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Alright. I think we'll be good. Let's move on to the next... The next War. chapter. More than the Naboo! And we can skip this. Yeah. We got Naboo to mourn. We don't have time. Now, Armstrong said that this... This episode is the kind of Naboo that he would want... To be in. To, like, live, to in. live in. Yeah. yeah. Do you agree with that? I mean, I, I understand his logic. Because he was like, oh, like, it's the safest place to live in. But pre, like, pre-Clone Wars Naboo. Mm -hmm. But having droids invade my homeland does not sound, like, very fun. I think it'd be pretty easy to fight off. But the, the thing with, like, the Separatists is that they did, like, numbers. Right. You know, to overwhelm. But it's just, like, I understand, but I... It's not the place I would have picked to live in the Star Wars universe. But I think if, like, in general, it would be a pretty good place to live. It's just... Yeah. The, the nature of the question was, like, what movie? So, um... I mean, if Alderaan wasn't destroyed, that place looks pretty cool. Yeah. The one Lego game I really wish we would have gotten was, like, the sequel to Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars. Yeah. I really loved that game. I would actually dare to say that I think that game is more fun than this. You know, I definitely would agree with the addition of, like, the battle mode. Yeah. Because you have, like, the... There's, like, the battlefield that you have on there. 
and you have all these different like generators and stuff that mm -hmm. you have to blow up and it's basically like risk over the map you have to gain yeah. control of every single s spot I, that was a lot of fun it really did feel like you're fighting like in a lego war like that mm. was always really cool I remember David and I used to play it, and we would get, like, so freaking pissed at each other because we were, like, <laughs> fighting it. We're like, no, my shield generator! <laughs> like, we'd be, we'd be getting mad and stuff, but, like, yeah. it was fun. I would play that with Sam all the time, mm -hmm. and I got pretty good at it. It was a lot of fun. Well, now we have Jar Jar, so we can jump super high places. Jar Jar is going to the NBA. <laughs> Misa like Legos. <laughs> he would do those insane dunks like an NBA jam where they go like up to the mm. top of the stadium. He's on fire. Misa like war. Wow, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> would you say that you know these levels like the back of your hand? Now that we're playing it, I'm like, yeah, I grew up here, so <laughs> I'm like, these are the streets I I roamed when I was a kid. But yeah, it is cool, you know, seeing it again. Mm -hmm. If you had to pick your favorite Lego game, what would you what would you say it was? Oh, honestly, I don't know. It's it's between this and Lego Lord of the Rings. Oh, see, that's what I'm thinking. I think Lego Lord of the Rings might be my. I think, I think this one will always be like the Godfather of the Lego games. Yeah. Right? Like speaking of Lego Lord of the Rings, you know they just came out with that Rivendell set, right? Mm -hmm. And so I was talking to Armstrong cuz Armstrong was talking about it and um I think that might be a sign that like the next Lego Star Wars the Skywalker Saga video game they're coming yeah. out with will be Lord of the Rings. I could see that. Which <clears throat> I don't I don't know why like cuz I've seen like a whole bunch of theory videos and stuff and people think it's going to be like Lego the Infinity War Saga, which would be like Marvel and stuff, which I, yeah. can, I can see because it's just the popularity of Marvel and stuff, but I would much rather them do Lord of the Rings because they didn't finish The Hobbit. Yeah. The Hobbit game was released unfinished. They didn't have the Battle of the Five Armies. It was supposed to be released as DLC or something like mm -hmm. that, but it never came out. So that's, that's what I'm thinking it might be is yeah. coming out with that. I could see that. I don't really know if I want to play through the three Hobbit movies. Mm -hmm. um, just that's another topic that we could talk about for the podcast is the Hobbit movies. Um, but if it was like they made a streamlined version of the Hobbit, uh, mm -hmm. you know, type thing, I would be more cool with that. But uh, even if they just kept the character design and Lego pieces from the movie and they just mm -hmm. streamline the story um i would be okay with that but that'd be cool well I, th I think the thing was they stopped making those lord of the rings sets because they lost the licensing yeah to make them and so since that's coming out now i think they've got the licensing back mm -hmm. which means they'd be able to make a game yeah so i'm really hoping that's the case and like lego star wars the skywalker saga that's like open world a lot right. of it right so, like, I think Lord of the Rings would fit better because you're just, you know, you are on that journey with the characters. Right. To, and you're not going to have to travel through space to, yeah. to get through different spots. I think it would lend itself to the form, formula a even, lot better. Even the original Lego Lord of the Rings game, like, that was really open world and that flowed together really well. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't too big. It was, like, just the right size. So I could really see them doing that. I think there's a deleted scene there. In the original Phantom Menace, where like Jar Jar falls off the waterfall or something like that, man, <sighs> or he gets close to mm -hmm. like there's a waterfall there and he almost falls off of it. I'm so glad they didn't keep that in. You know, I wonder. You know, we live in the age of like the Snyder Cut. I mm -hmm. wonder if the prequels would have come out now if people would have been like release the George Lucas cut and then it'd be like <laughs> five hours of like Jar Jar doing weird weird stuff, you know, or yeah. Um, I really wonder if, like, we're going to see, like, this ripple effect from the Snyder Cut of all of these, like, directors and stuff. When a movie doesn't go their way, they'll mm -hmm. be like, oh, my cut of the movie is different. Because, like, it happened with Blade Runner, you know, with the theatrical cut, the theatrical cut, the director's cut and whatever. Right. 
And then it was really big with the Snyder Cut. And so I really wouldn't be surprised if that just becomes like a new thing. is like director cut versus theatrical cut. Mm-hmm. I like that they changed the Lego guns. That's cool. Yeah. I will say, the ones with the big red stud on the end will always be classic. Though. Yeah, I agree. I, I kind of liked those, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> My bad. The death sounds are also iconic. Mm-hmm. I can still, I can hear R2-D2 sometimes when I see it. <laughs> Yoda. Yeah. Pew, pew. Leave no stud left behind. Man, a first-person Lego shooter game would be so much fun. Yeah. That actually would be so much fun. Yeah, and then, like, when like when people, like, die, they leave studs and stuff, and that's how you collect points. Yeah. You know, and then it would be, like, uh, whoever has the most studs at the end, like, that's the best, that's, like, who wins. Like whatever. in Call of Duty, where you have those tags, like, yeah. you have to collect the dog tags and mm-hmm. stuff. But it'd be like collect the studs, and then yeah, um, then like the the studs are your money or whatever, and then you can buy new guns and or new skins, like, cosmetic yeah. options and stuff. Yeah, I hope Lego's watching so they can. Man, I that. hope so. Even if they did something that like max mixed up all of their franchises, they have like Lego Star Wars, Lego Batman. It got it would basically kind of be like Fortnite having. Patrick Mahomes in it, you know, <laughs> and so, but even still with Lego, I would play that. Yeah, I'd play absolutely. The, I would play the heck out of that. And I'm not even a big Fortnite. I don't, I don't play Fortnite, but I would play, uh, I would play Lego Fortnite if that was a thing. Because, like, don't you build and stuff in Fortnite? Yeah, hey, you can. There you go. You already, you already got your template. Oh, let me go this way. Oh, I think there's a mini kit back here. Oh, yeah. hey. Man, we... These, we grew up on the streets of Lego Naboo. That's, what, that's where we're from. Yeah, Armstrong was saying he'd rather live in the Phantom Menace Naboo. I think I'd rather live in Lego the Phantom Menace Lego, Naboo. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he totally failed that question. Even though, uh, I think, I don't know, if I had to live in a Star Wars planet, I think, I mean, I don't blame him for choosing Naboo. Uh, maybe Kashyyyk would be cool, hang out with the yeah. Wookiees. Uh, indoor, obviously not, because of those all those crazy monsters. Those, the, well, the Ewoks themselves yeah. are super dangerous. They're gonna try to eat me. You know, <laughs> I'm I'm a little dude. I'm only five foot six. They're gonna they're gonna see me and see their next dinner. You know? <laughs> but picture this: going back to the Lego shooter game. You know, you collect. You can unlock all these different cosmetic things, mm. but you can also make your own minifigure. Yeah, that would be cool. I don't like that the customized, like, figures and stuff isn't in Skywalker Saga. I feel like that's an integral part of, like, yeah, Lego games, is making your own characters That's and stuff. pretty stinky. That would be, like, in the new NCAA football game if they didn't have a creature team mode. Mm-hmm. Just a waste of opportunity. We don't have Jar Jar, do we? I don't think... Maybe we do. I don't think so. No, no. we don't. Okay. I think we can stack these. Oh, yeah, I think... Yeah. Let me get that one and stack it. Oh, another idea I had for the movie fights. Oh, we need Jar Jar. Yeah. Or General Grievous. I think General Grievous jumps really high. Yeah, General too. Grievous jumps really high. So for like the movie fights, I also thought of like having like kind of like a speed round of like, I give you an actor. And then you guys have to cast him as like a superhero. Like and, on the spot? Yeah, like, or like on the spot, or have you guys like giving you guys the question early uh-huh. so you guys can come up with something. Like, for instance, I'd be like, Pedro Pascal. And then be like, who are you guys going to cast? And then you guys can all have crazy oh, okay. different yeah, answers. Yeah. Like, oh, he's going to be my Mr. Free. I don't know. Oh, uh, whatever. Or you'd be like, he's going to be my Cyclops. Or, you know, whatever you want. Right. And so then you have, we have all these crazy answers, you know. Or I'll be like, oh, cast... Danny DeVito and then you guys have to find a character that would fit him not MODOK <laughs> dude he would that would have been funny I don't know a whole lot about MODOK other than he's a floating head who's kind of crazy mm-hmm. but that's my monster a spaceship in Star Wars it's really sleek every time we watch Phantom Menace she says I love that ship That's. I think that's my favorite ship <laughs> I'm like okay 
I think the the shit that Padme has in Revenge of the Sith is really cool. That one's really cool too. She's got a lot. Man, they whoever designed her costumes and all of her aesthetic stuff. I hope they got a pay raise because yeah. her costumes are, I think, are some of the best costumes in Star Wars. They're really good. Yeah, all the costumes are really good. Yeah, I would say some of the newer stuff, and especially like in the Force Awakens and stuff, it kind of felt like fan film. Yeah, like it's something like we would have been like if we were going to make a Star Wars fan film. Right. We would have been like, yeah, have this weird jacket, have a vest, and have this safari shirt, mm-hmm. <laughs> have this. Have these fingerless gloves, you know? That's what I kind of felt like, too, in The Mandalorian in some places. Like, yeah. Cobb Vanth, mm-hmm. his costume is kind of fan-filmy. There's that uh, bounty hunter that uh, is in that episode where Mando's trying to get Fennec Shand. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I think yeah. so. His costume especially was super, like, fan filmy. Oh, I was afraid we're going to have to hear Jake Lloyd's voice. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Am I green? Or, yeah, wait. Uh, uh, yeah, you're green. You're green. This is some of the hardest, like, levels. I think this is the hardest level. I think Gunship Calvary's Oh, man, that tougher. one... Tougher. It's tougher because it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, it just is not great. Oof. Oh, my god. And if, if either one of us dies, we start over. Uh, man, it, when I was younger... I'd be like, all right, only one person win. And yeah. then, like, someone else can handle it. Oh, oh, oh dang. We missed like, the mini kit. This is the one that took me the longest to beat all the way to get the mini kits. Yeah. When I was little. It's tough. Because you I have would, a time limit, too. Yeah. At least not in this one. I think they changed the levels a little bit with the complete saga. But, like, the, the original LEGO Star Wars video game with it just being the prequels. Yeah. There was a time limit, and it made yeah. it super difficult. I remember, I I almost I almost would cry almost every time I played this level. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm, like I cry. I should do that. Like, I would be like in tears. Like, I'm so freaking <laughs> mad right now. And my mom would be like, "Maybe you need to do something else." Like, if yeah. you're getting this upset, I'm like, "No, mom, I have to win." You don't understand. That's the thing too. Like with with these older games, they were really tough. Yeah. They wanted to make kids cry. I will say, you did feel more accomplished after... When I finally beat this level, I mm-hmm. was like, I am a Jedi. That's one of my complaints with, like, the Skywalker saga. It feels too easy for me. Really? Like, yeah. The, some of the levels are super easy, and it's like you just fly by them, and you don't feel like much of an accomplishment doing them. Have you thought that maybe it's easy because it's a game designed for kids? No. Oh, there we go. We nice. got it. So... Oh. Kids, kids are weak these days. Kids are weak <laughs> <laughs> with their participation trophies. Back in my day, I had to play this level over and over oh, again. Oh, hey, I couldn't beat it. it. You know, it was a fun game. Star Wars pod racing on the Nintendo sixty four. Yeah, so much fun. See, I never played that game. Oh man! Oh my gosh, are we about to lose? Bro. Okay, okay, okay. It's only the last lap. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the whole lap. We oh, can get those mini kids again. We have to move as one unit. <sighs> Left, right. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get those three on the boost. I know I was saying this is a game designed for kids, but this is the this is the level that makes you to a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder, like, if if you give this game to a kid right now, like, I wonder how they would react playing it. Okay, okay. we get these boosts, and we, we got it. We got it. I think they would like it. I think this is a pretty timeless game. I think any kid could sit down and play this and like yeah. it. Lego Harry Potter games are fun, too. Yeah. They're really fun. Good I, time. I didn't play the first one. Really? I did play the second one, though. Um, like I said in the podcast, my mom was a big Harry Potter fan, and like she would play the Lego Harry Potter game with me. She would play Lego Star Wars, but Lego Harry Potter was more her, more her speed. That's awesome. Can, can I hop in there? Here, I think. Yeah, there you go. There it is. You know, I always say, like, no stud left behind, but then the longer you play, the more yeah. you're just like, you're like, eh. <laughs> you're like, I don't need this. Once you get that stud multipl- multiplier, forget about it. You're mm-hmm. like, mm, yeah. I wonder what ever happened to Captain Pinocchio after the first movie. He disappears. He gets replaced with Captain Typho. Maybe yeah. he retired. I don't know. When I was little, I was like, oh, they just recasted him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. But, man, I really wonder.
He got a cool eye patch now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like whenever you play like a gun character, they'll dodge out of the way of the bullets and mm-hmm. stuff. And they'll do Han something Solo crazy. is my favorite for that. He yeah, he spins around. Yeah, he does the spin. So yeah, we're getting ready to record another episode. We're going to do here. Right. So well, Gavin, well, right. Gavin, hey, Gavin is in the building now. <laughs> we're recording while we play <laughs> like Star Wars. Oh. Yeah, you want a quick cameo? Say something funny. Um. Oh, we're not. <laughs> we're not <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I I was like, oh. That was really funny, Gavin. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. No, I'm just kidding. Man, say something funny, Gavin. Um. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a good question. Uh, what's your favorite Lego game, Gavin? Yeah. My favorite Lego game. <clears throat> mm, honestly, it might have to be this one. It's really good. Yeah. Either this or uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. yeah that's Lego Lord of the Rings was the first video game I ever 100 percented. Really? Really? Mm-hmm. The, the we were just talking. You know, we've been talking about the Lego games. How would you feel about a Lego shooter game like Fortnite? <laughs> but like you can unlock all the different Lego like characters, aesthetics, yeah, and then you all the maps are levels from the all the Lego games, but like they're converted to be like a first person shooter. How would you feel about that? As long as there's no battle pass. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't oh. think. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. no. Hear me out. Lego Breaking Bad. <laughs> so what would, somebody made like a little <laughs> yeah. game in Unreal Engine Dude. or something mm-hmm. like that. Dude, what would the what this would the cool. levels look like? Would it just be puzzles to make meth? Like? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is. Now Sam's in here. Hey Sam, how are you doing? I'm good. We're getting all kinds of cameos. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Man, here, I, I was... forgot that split screen doesn't exist. Screen, screen. sharing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. Disney Plus. You gotta watch Bluey. Okay. No, oh, stop. Bluey is <laughs> my gosh. a phenomenon, all right? You no, and dude. Miriam need to... The... I've watched oh. every episode. Every time I see Bluey now, I think of you. And I'm like, it is oh, adorable. Whatever. That's all me. It was like each Cringe. generation has had a blue dog to get them to their child. Exactly. Real. Because we have Blue's Clues, or I have Blue's Clues. They have Bluey, and then there's another. Well, what about Scooby-Doo? He was my dog. He ain't blue, though. He's not blue. Yeah, um... He's still a dog. He's still like got that dog he in him. Dog. <laughs> you see him eating those Scoopy snacks? He eating that burger that was like 15 miles high? He's got that dog in him. For sure. Got that dog. Hear me out. This is my pitch for Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo in the apocalypse. In the apocalypse? So this, what's what's, this is like the plot. Like Fallout Scooby-Doo? Uh, Scooby-Doo? Yeah, sure. What, so this is the plot, right? They uncovered a monster they were gonna go to investigate this monster sorceress lady and it turned out she was a real freaking sorceress and she starts the zombie apocalypse and so then i don't know maybe i don't know daphne dies but fred he's like setting traps up for the zombies and you and like shaggy and scooby are jaded and they like they they ride in the van and there's like a gun on a machine gun on top (laughs) (laughs) fighting the monsters and they're all these like paranormal normal things like Combined supernatural. I was about to say supernatural. Supernatural, Scooby-Doo. The Walking Dead, and Scooby Doo. Give Shaggy an eye patch. Give <laughs> Velma a, a, a wooden leg. I don't know. Take Scooby's hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's like three legged like, Scoob. <laughs> the roads change, Reggie. <laughs> it's not what it used to be, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, when Scoob goes to kill a zombie, maybe you make it R-rated, and he can play Ruby beeping, doo, and then he kills someone, you know? Yeah. And maybe like Fred has become like a warlord with his traps, and he's like maybe Daphne died, and then he's like gone crazy. What about like a Mad Max route? Yeah, you can do what that. About that? You, you can buy, you can combine that can too. Just, Make the mystery machine this weird yeah, decked out like they had to replace. Powered vehicle in the desert. Yeah, and the Ninja Turtles show up. <laughs> yeah, and then they have the old, like they do a mashup. They do the classic Batman and Robin. They <laughs> this show would be up bigger than in game. <laughs> yeah, this would be a huge crossover. Dude, I'm, no, I'm serious about the Ninja Turtles. Have them show up. You know, yeah. they got the the turtle bus. It's got the gun on there too. Well, there is that storyline in the comics of like the last Ronin, where all of them yeah. died except for one. Rise of the Team and T is actually pretty good. If you guys haven't watched that on Netflix, it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, 
but I like that they don't make Raph into an annoying brat in that movie. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I really wish I was a Ninja Turtle, to be honest. Living in the sewer with the boys, eating pizza, riding a skateboard. Playing arcade games. Playing an arcade game, you know, having a weird lizard hanging, not lizard, or a weird a rat. rat. <laughs> yeah. You know, that Maybe sounds... Master Splinter. Yeah, that sounds like fun to me. No. Is it bad that I actually enjoyed Uncharted? I, it's not. It's not a bad movie. I haven't played it's Uncharted. It's not bad, before. but it's not great. And like, I'm a huge Uncharted fan. Okay, so a little bit of a hot take here. <clears throat> I really like The Last of Us. That's my favorite game of all time. Naughty Dog, the creators of The Last of Us, also created the Uncharted games. Mm-hmm. I don't like the Uncharted games. Really? Yeah. Oh. I don't like the Uncharted games. Like, I get the appeal. It's like Indiana Jones. Tomb Raider, all of that. Super cool. Get the appeal. Man. But I just don't like Uncharted. I know for a fact, once Harrison Ford dies, they're going to reboot Indiana Jones. I I really hope not. I I think that's what... This this new movie coming out, he personally requested it to be made. I think that is what the Dial of Destiny is. It's setting up for like a Disney... Disney, Disney Plus. Plus the Return of Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's gonna be it's gonna be the the goddaughter. Indiana Jones's goddaughter oh. is gonna be the next Indiana Jones, and they're gonna make a Disney Plus spinoff show with her being the lead. I I guarantee you that is what's going to happen. Oh my whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is happening? Um, um Oh well. <laughs> We lost all our studs, that's what happens. What's the F word equivalent in Star Wars? Um, Baba Freak, <laughs> Freak. Oh man. Oh. How are you? Sp- <laughs> oh no. Okay. There we oh, go. Oh, there oh. we go. There we go. Oh. Whew. Sorry, guys. Oh man. Got my heart racing. I thought we were gonna have to restart the level. Oh yeah, we lost all of our stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, okay. Dude, Darth Maul better watch out. Those legs are coming off. Oh, yeah. Half off uh, sale at the mall, am I right? (laughs) Okay. Sorry. (laughs) Okay. Remember that meme from like 2012? Yeah. I never forgot. Oh, you mean the movie 2012? I've never seen when everybody that. thought the world was going to end? Dude, I remember going it's to... It's not a good movie. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. All, it's it's interesting. I no, remember. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You know, I'm not saying having COVID was nice or fun or anything, <laughs> but I get to tell my kids, yeah, I had, I had COVID. I lived, bro. You get bragging rights on I lost 20 pounds. I couldn't <laughs> walk to the toilet, but I made it. I lived. That was Got my him. That was my Vietnam. I'm joking. Oh. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. No. no. Well, that is the end of Lego Star Wars <laughs> The Phantom Menace. Uh, Spoilers. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe. Like. <laughs> comment. <laughs> oh. If you're a Lego, I want a Lego Power Rangers Megazord. Honestly, that'd be pretty that'd be cool. Be yeah. um, also, but. you can take our idea for the shooter game. You can have that. Just, like, give it to me for free. Yeah. And a PS5. And a PS5? So I can play it. <laughs> uh, 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 you'll give it to me now. Or yep. I'm the president's daughter. Oh. Well, that'll do for this episode. So we'll we'll play the rest of these at another time. But right now, you've got the Phantom Menace and our crazy, you know, uh, Darwin's crazy Uh, apocalypse ideas and stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.